Fire, what are you saying? Yes, Fire Key, you give thanks for life. You know? <laughs> it's been a while. It's, it's been a while. We are here again, Ball Head and the Dread Podcast, right? Respect to everyone. Um, new look, we are here. We're here in person, too. So People that's in my ball for that, for a while. Too, no, so. serious thing. Um, Fire, right, what are we reason about today? Well, today we are reason about student loans. I mean, also student loans is a, is a major, major topic amongst um, a whole heap of people. We've seen it in the media of recent for, um, for a very specific reason. And plus, we know say it's causing a whole heap of depression and anxiety across a whole heap of um, different stratospheres. So really want to delve into the whole concept of student loan yeah. and the effect we see it have on a whole heap of people. Too, you know? It seemed like October 1st was the day of judgment. <laughs> you know, because uh, people went, I guess, what, um, two, almost three years yeah, without paying student loans, and now it's coming back. I think the issue we have here, obviously, we have inflation, and now you have a student loan, which is an extra bill. Uh, before we get into the thing, we want to give you a brief little history. I had to make sure I wrote it down so I'll tell you the wrong information. Sure. But uh, Federal student loans were first offered 1958 National Defense Education Act, right? Um, but it wasn't available to everyone. Seems like it was only available to like engineers, scientists, and people in the education field. I think the problem arose now <laughs> when it became. <laughs> no, it's not funny. I think the problem arose when it became available to everyone, and also you started to have that kind of uh, gap between how much college costs and how much you were able to earn, and now people in serious problems. You know, and uh, as a country, I think it's like thirteen percent. The entire country has student loans. That's crazy. You know? That's crazy to me, still in a fire because if we think about it, student loan is all right. The way how we see it is almost like the major things we have to accomplish in life. There, there is no way that majority of the population can get to any of these things um, by having cash. So yeah. they have to do that on a credit basis. Yeah. So it's almost, and if you think about those things that in life where you have to get, where you have to get, for seem like you're successful or for achieve in, in order to be comfortable or at least com- very to the minimum, comfortable to the minimal aspect, you're gonna need a car. Most times you have to get a loan, a loan for in order to get a car. You're gonna need a house. You have to get a loan to get a house. Or any other things where you have to get in, in between that, more than likely you're gonna need a loan if you can get to that. So the, on the very basis of getting these things require an education. So the fact that you have to get a loan in order to for, for be able to even access things that make you successful or seem successful. A red flag. It's a red flag, a, a loan. <laughs> so you have to get a loan yeah. in order to get a loan. So you get a loan to get an education. Majority of the population have to get a student loan. And then once you get that loan, you have to face that begin burden at the beginning only for maintain a next burden, which is a mortgage. A mortgage for the most part, you have different 15 year fix and all of these different things. But the majority, the average person I go for a mortgage, it's going to be a 30 year fix yeah. mortgage. See, when you think about college, the college loan them for the most part, the average loan I go span from between 10 to 20 years. If that, it will probably go longer for most people. And so imagine now you, have, you, you get to that level where you get a mortgage. You get to that level where you still have to pay a student loan, plus every other thing will come in between that for life purpose. So it's almost like you're indebted to the system, system just because you want to strive in a, in a particular way. And I feel like that in itself, it, even beyond unfair, it's almost like the system wants you to have that anxiety. Far right, it's sustain. unethical, yeah. When you really mm-hmm. break it down, because, all right, when you first go on the campus, right? Yeah. The fact that they have credit card companies there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, didn't, <laughs> I, I didn't even know what to say, Fire. You get what I'm saying? The fact that they have credit cards companies there is a problem. Because you don't know nothing about no credit card. And yeah, we didn't even get to the student loan yet. So you get the credit card, I think the first one's like a thousand or two thousand dollars. And you think it's free money. You don't understand the concept. Yeah. So that exposing you to that debt life. Then when we get to the student loan now, I just think that I believe, and I don't know how accurate it is, but I believe you usually get about six to nine months before you start paying, right? Mm-hmm. Is that after employment or is that after graduation? That's the part I, I'm not clear on in regards to when you have to, I think it's just after graduation. Graduation, yeah, that, not, not for that's the crazy, right? Because who's to say you're going to get a job? 
I was reading an article and they brought up a great point in regards to how the student loan uh, pushes people to do things that really stunts their growth. And it makes sense because if you're in a particular, it doesn't give you time to develop your craft Mm -hmm. when you have to pay these bills. And a lot of people find themselves, uh, we are are, know already majority of people who uh, get jobs, that job doesn't correlate with their degree. Mm -hmm. But I think when you have that high debt there, you're forced even more to do it. You get what I'm saying? That puts you in a tricky situation now because you can't really go through the process of growth and developing a particular craft because you have to provide for yourself. You need lodging. Mm -hmm. You need to eat. You need a car depending on where you are. You need some form of travel. You need the health insurance if you have kids and now you have the student loan. I know the payment is different in regards to like some does 10%, does some does based on your income. But if you're already struggling hand to mouth, it's very hard for you to make that payment. And this is the part for to me that gets very cold is when you default on the loan. This is crazy. For people that don't understand, basically, depending on what type of loan you have, uh, sometimes they give you like uh, 90 days or mm-hmm. uh, a, a certain amount of time <clears throat> without paying. The whole loan becomes available, and I think interest, the, the interest hits up. So if I can't make a $300 payment, right, how am I going to be responsible for $72,000, $100,000, $150,000? $100, it's a hustle. That's why I say it's a crime. It's unethical because they're setting you up for failure. Because you have to factor in, will a person have consistent employment? Mm-hmm. And even if they do, all the other things that's going to come up in life that takes away from them making that payment. You know, it's tricky though. Yeah, I, you know, I, you know I said, it's like they really set you up for China because you know anything about um, student loan. All of these things, they, they, in, when giving you the loan, them tell you, say, them account for all of these things, you know. And you know, why they, you know how them do that? So, example, if, if you need, if for the semester you need $10,000, them will send it 20. Yeah. That's the way how them do it. So, them send it 20 and them tell you, them, them, them even not give you a note to tell you, say, okay, this is for the school fee, but we know you need books. We know you need supplies. We know you, there's a travel expense that come with the whole thing. We know you have to have food. So you can't reach a school. So it's almost like them lower you in and drag you, drag you towards getting more money. When you in that in that particular time, just thinking short term, and you're not thinking short term for a selfish reason, you know. Yeah. Maybe it's selfish, selfish to an extent. Like cause you want your education, you want to make sure so you're comfortable within that time. But it's not not selfish in a bad way. Because remember, you say you try the education, you want to do it to as much comfort as possible so you can breeze through it. If it's a four year you're supposed to do a school, you're supposed to do a four year comfortable. And then maybe that 20 toes we're used to now, we say, okay, we can take care of all of this, we don't have to worry about it. But the, you not worrying about it at that particular time, you catch up back to your life and them know that. So it's almost like them lowering. Because you know, see, one thing where people feel for, forget, feel, feel for um, remembering is that. We live in a capitalistic society. There is no capitalistic society we can strive without debt. Yeah. And that are one of the major forms of debt. Besides mortgage, which we already mentioned um, earlier, that are one of the major forms <laughs> of debt. And why you have to hold somebody towards debt when you're telling them that this is something that they need? This is required for you to even have a chance within the system. And even when you get it, you still don't have that much of a chance, but yet still you're obligated to this particular debt. So it, it, it almost, it almost the system is criminal. In a, it really it's criminal, criminal it. and, the, and the schools don't get enough blame too because mm-hmm. in regards to anyone's, listen, I'm going to look in the camera and say this. Anyone speak to a person who works at a school fight? They don't make no bread in there, a professor. None. So where is this money going? Especially if you had a school that generates money from athletics and tuition. <laughs> no, seriously. So it's not like the teacher making one hundred fifty grand, two hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars. The teacher themselves are struggling, and they have to do all these things outside of school for their basic survival. So if I'm paying for this, there's another aspect too that's also fight these books. Mm-hmm. Books are crazy. Yeah, yeah man, a joke thing. I remember I took a class. Give things. I didn't have to pay for books because I had the scholarship, right? Mm-hmm. But I remember I had a teacher. Her book, right? We must have read three, big old book. We must have read three pages out of that book. And even I was younger, I'd say, yo, this don't make no sense. Because if, if a person has to buy this book for three pages, you hustling, bro. Mm-hmm. You're generally hustling because you could print that and give it to us. Why does a person have to buy the book? And why are college books so expensive? That's the thing. Yeah. They're so expensive for what? The, 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 the housing, the food, a lot of food on campuses. Because campus food not cheap for the most part. Not at all. 
But I don't want to stray from the argument. I just want to acknowledge that college plays a big role in what's going on, right? But I really want to get into right now the whole depression vibe. Um, there was a recent study, right? So it's saying like, um, and I know the sample size wasn't the greatest. It was like 2,000 Americans between age 18 67. But it was saying 56 uh, said depression. Uh, they, their student loans causes depression, sleepless nights, um, and uh, anxiety. Some were to the point where they said they were suicidal. But if I see why, <laughs> you get what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because not only that you have the debt, but we have inflation. Mm-hmm. That's the next. Far I bought some berries the other day. I had to go look to make sure I ain't like hit the. You know, sometimes you hit it twice. Mm-hmm. I had to go make sure I hit the thing twice for the little blackberries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I will Crazy. say this. I know people had a break, and most people, they took this break to use the money for other things. It's not like they prepare for it. But the fact that they have to pay their student loans again is going to be a serious problem for a lot of people. Because they're already struggling financially. Things are very expensive. We spoke about rent previously. Rent mm-hmm. crazy. I, I know, you know, you know the sickest thing. All right, we think about it from a from a direct mathematical perspective. Because people might even not hear what about the student loan thing and them not who don't have it. Because you yeah. know, majority of people, people don't even, have it. Yeah, yeah. majority of people, have, if them don't have it, them have a family member who have True. it. So them 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 know the burden where it come with. But if you think about it, like from a mathematical perspective, say the average person in America student loan come to around 30, 34,000. What thirty four thousand a student loan? If you have even have a thirty thousand student loan, I have a ten year span to pay that back. Yeah, it's gonna cost you about nine hundred and, and something per month. So if you think about nine hundred and something per month, you know, you know how much money you have to make for constantly have a nine hundred and nine hundred and add payment outside of your per regular month bills. Outside, all right, that, that's the point. Outside of the regular and, bills, and consistently. We and 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 let's be honest too. A lot of people have basic credit card debt that they're struggling. That they're making the minimum. <laughs> This is a cool society we live in. They're making the minimum payment on their credit card debt because nothing is there. Mm-hmm. I don't care how my man want to hype up when he's outside. Nothing is there at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of unrealistic to consistently play the student loan. One thing I want to bring up, Farai, right? A lot of people say the college degree is not worth it anymore, right? And I disagree with that argument. What do you think before I say what I'm going to say? Do you feel people still should pursue a college degree? Yeah, all right. So my, I think in a, in a, there's a next podcast where I forgot to do and reason about this this particular topic because yeah. I think a college degree is very much worth it and and it's it's it might sound too vague. I think that's a, such a vague question and that you can't just get one response. The reason I say that I think I think the focus need to be on different majors. So the majors we we doing right now in college, uh, we need to focus on majors where for where we are getting to the whole concept of AI. Um, machine learning, different type of um, data models, statistical analysis, all of these different fields always say it needed much. So if you realize that these industries are booming right now, yeah. so if you go to school and you at least um, incur a particular debt, which you know student loan is there, you need to ensure that the major where you are, you where you are, are, are take on it can benefit in Heightens the, long the probability run. of the Heightens the probability. That's the key to word. deal with this loan. Because yeah. your earning potential in the loan is just so topsy turvy, I think, with these industries yeah. people are getting into. That's the big no thing, disrespect, right? like no the, disrespect the, to the, the, the arts. psychology yeah. major and all of these different yeah, 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 things. Yeah. But most of the time, the business admin, most of the time, these things can't carry you over the wall because they're, it's so crowded, so saturated that the moment not, you don't make enough money. It's not feasible, you know. Uh, I'm in the same vein. I think that um, depending on the person now, some people because what happens is. A person who's self-driven or whatever I say, oh, people don't need to go to school. And it's like, you're a unique person. And most people have that characteristic, that work ethic, that focus. One size fits all in the world. That's why I really dislike that argument. But for the average person to get your foot in the door, yes. Yes, you may not do what your degree is for the rest of your life, but that is the tool within this environment to get your foot in the door. And if you can hustle properly in college in regards to uh, networking, yeah, the place to I think people. because... I've met my wife in college. I met my best friends in college. And the right. environment that I grew in, I would have never met the type of person that I met at college. Mm-hmm. It's just the reality of it. So that's what the system says. You know too. what I'm saying? So I think uh, being strategic with college and also on another note, you got to take care of business in high school to put yourself in a position where you have to pay a minimal amount for college. I think that's not the conversation we're having in regards to that accountability during high school to yeah. do as best as you can to get as much money as you can. 
Because you should, you shouldn't be in a position where you're you're taking out full uh, tuition on loans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that it bring it bring a, a full important conversation too because when it comes to the the, the concept of family planning, yeah, I think I think it's something we, we really need to dig into. Like for instance, we have the whole um. There's two sides to it, right? So there, there's a there, there, there's one thing I want to mention things like college plan. Yeah. Say so you no, know, so, all right. Set a college plan. You have a child. Once your child reach, child reach 18, 18 or age or 20, that 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 will become accessible. And, you know, if you pass on before that, it's still like a like an insurance, right? Yeah. So at least you lay a, a particular type of foundation. But you see the downside to that, which which me really find very interesting, is that. Say you have a take a college plan um, that is $20,000. Yeah. That $20,000 today, with the inflation we mentioned, what right, will 15, the college, 12, yeah, what will that be towards a college fee? So yeah. how much, it, it does make a difference. Yeah. So at least you don't have to take a, a 100% um, loan. So that, that is the upside to it. But the downside is that the, the inflation way that, that is incurred upon these things, what is $20,000 18 years from now? Yeah, yeah. There'll be nothing at all the way the society moving. So it's like six or one half dozen of the other two. True. Yeah. And there's one more criminal act I want to bring up that the colleges do fire. And I heard a couple of people with this. When people drop their classes, they, they try to get a runaround on the refund. Big time. Even if you drop the class prior to the deadline. Prior. Yeah, that's the hustle they're doing right 75% now. Seventy-five percent recall first. And for parents out there pressuring your kids to go to school, another thing too is that a lot of kids feel pressure to go to school. Yeah. I've seen it firsthand teaching. Right, they take out the loan, they drop out within two weeks or a month. You're still responsible for that first semester alone. Mm-hmm. So make yeah. a proper decision in regards to what you want to do. Yeah. If you don't want to go, just don't go. It doesn't make sense for you to have a fifteen thousand dollar loan. And you have nothing to show for it. Mm-hmm. Now, if you go there and you don't like it, that's a different thing. But some people know when already if I, uh, but they just feel that pressure. Yeah, yeah. Like an acceptance, you know. Feel like when it, just feel like the way the system set set. I feel like right now, the perfect time for for, for most people start to have a mental revolution. A mental revolution is necessary right now to the system set the thing because. If we really want to advance, we have to start shape shape our mind to a particular thing. Because it, it, as we said, criminal from the get go. And me personally feel like if education is so important, and we really need education for, for, for advance advanced society, then it's supposed to be free. But me get the whole concept that education is to maintain the status quo. Weed so, out, you know, and, and, and weed out these particular people, and then bring up your 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 own particular group where you want to maintain that that type of power structure we have. So I get the whole concept of that. But if idealistically, we, we, when we talk, uh, when we are you from a utopic perspective, if yeah. education is supposed to uplift society, then it can't be such a major burden. And we know the biggest burdens them in this society is anything financial. So. Yeah. Oh, I just want to give, these are four basic hustles. It's nothing great, but I know people do the public service loan figure. You know, <laughs> look into this loan forgiveness, right? It's always jobs. It's like very rough jobs, right? Mm-hmm. Social work, rough job, right? Teacher loan forgiveness. I see a lot of people do that. Um, income-driven repayment and total and permanent disability discharge, which you don't want. If you do get it, you get it, but that's yeah. nothing, something you should, should uh, aspire for. But uh, everyone out there, we do... Um, encourage you if possible sometimes there's just nothing there but there is something there you may want to tone it down on the spending you get what i'm saying and reevaluate your budget to make sure that you're taking care of the student loan because the last thing you want to do is default because when that interest hit it if i get out of hand and they siphon out your stuff too by the way they'll siphon your taxes and other mm-hmm. things uh, if you're not paying that student loan mm-hmm. so um i'm not sure if the private is siphoning it but i know definitely for the federal uh the interest will get crazy on the private, but the federal, I know they will start siphoning and stuff. Well, Which I mean, don't make no sense too far because if, <laughs> if you are struggling financially, right? You know, these people are crazy. It's like by doing this, they just want to make sure you can't pay it. Yeah, it's hot. You know? Because the coldest thing I've seen is a man with a bachelor's, not a master's, that's like 17 years removed from school still paying student loan. Yeah, that, that, that crazy, that's, that's crazy cold as I am, sure. And them can't help it. Can't do nothing. Can't help it. No matter how progressive majority of people people yeah. really feel them feel them is, they can't they can't help it at all. And, and the next thing that comes to my mind, when it comes to student loan, 
and 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 it comes to um, filing for taxes on a yearly basis, isn't it classified as as income? I'm not sure about so, that. So uh, it is. I'm it probably sure classified either. as income, you know, so yeah. that, that in itself is even a next problem. So you yeah. see how tied up them really want to tie up. So it's yeah. like you're making an income from something where, 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 where oh, that's making you become indebted. Yeah, it's a loan. Yeah, it's a loan, so you see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, so the thing that's said, scam, you know? You know? Big time, you know? But so the thing said, we give thanks for everyone tuning in, you know, until next time. Yeah, that's a